going to show you how to redress your pet's paw post surgery from a cut pad. So we are going to be using cotton wool, some cohesive bandage and some padding. So we're placing cotton pads just in between the toes of the dew claw. In between the toes. So in between the toes. This just provides padding so that the skin of the toes don't rub together. And in the back, in between the toes again, just for extra padding. Then we use another bit of walling bandage and we wrap that around the foot, making sure that the toes are enclosed in. We come up over the top of the joint as well to prevent the bandage slipping. And we're aiming for the same thickness all around, just enclosing the foot and the toes. Another layer of bandage just to provide extra support and a little bit of tension to keep everything in place. Keep equal pressure on the bandage so you don't get tight spots that would irritate the pet. Again, coming up with the end of the joint. I'm using a pair of scissors to cut the hole. And then finally, a layer of cohesive bandage just to cover everything and hold everything in place. This bandage has little paw prints on it, so you can see the little paw prints should stay roughly the same size, and that will indicate that your bandage isn't too tight. The bandage is too tight, it can irritate your pet. When you have your pet outside, always remember to keep the bandage dry by covering it with a, a little bag provided by your vet. And if there is any smell or discharge coming from the wound or you notice the bandage is wet, contact your vet immediately.